Hi, I'm Brady with Street Smart. I'm joined today with Connor Roach. Connor is our nationwide Smart Work Zone Operations Manager. We're going to talk in detail about vehicle data collection, the various sensors that Street Smart and our team relies on to send data back to our customers and to allow the devices that we put out in temporary work zones yes. um, to communicate with these devices and provide real time messaging to the motorists as they approach the work zone. So I can remember back when I was a kid, I grew up in rural Minnesota on a dirt road. One day the <laughs> county engineer came out and put a, a black tube sensor across our gravel road and we were excited. Yeah. Because uh, usually the only people coming down that road was my dad after work and then the mailman around lunchtime. We got out there and we were riding over that thing with our bikes and jumping on it. We had a good time. But um, I know technology's come a long way since th since then, Connor. Yeah. What are you holding here and how does Street Smart leverage that sensor? This here is a Houston Speedlane Pro. It's made by Houston Radar Technologies. Um, this is one of our most popular sensors. It's a non intrusive side fire sensor. It can capture accurate uh, volumes of vehicles, uh, define vehicle class, it can shoot up to 255 feet. This is probably the most reliable sensor in the industry right now. Right. We use this on nationwide. Okay. So okay. the tube sensor is no longer. This <laughs> this this has this can take over yeah. the tube sensor and you get more accurate right. data Right, believe it or not, well. we still get calls about the tube sensors. Yeah. So anyways, um, how do you power these devices and how is the data coming from the side of the road back to yeah. your software? Talk about that. So how we power this specific sensor, uh, we power it POE, power over ethernet specifically. Mm -hmm. um, you can power it, it's, it's pretty unique sensor. You can power it, it actually has a built-in battery as well, so okay. it can last up to 48 hours. Uh, the built-in modem, obviously. Uh, we use everything cellular communication unless it's specced in to use a radio communication. So um, everything's via okay. cellular. Yep. So we see these along the highway permanent mount, right? Uh, that yep. DOTs have. Yeah. So Street Smart's putting these in temporary work zones on a solar powered trailer. Yep. Um, and then that data is able to do things like Q warning systems. Q warning, dynamic lane merge. Yep. Uh, we can also do truck entry, truck exiting, okay. side fire application. What have you seen in terms of, you know, everybody's worried about data, right? Show me more data. Mm -hmm. um, maybe some one or two stories that might jump out to you, you know, you delivered the data and then there was a tangible change in the safety protocol on the job or maybe the construction work schedule, putting you on the spot a little bit, but, but yeah. what, what has come of the data? Couple I, of scenarios. I think what I see mostly is obviously there's just peak hours right. of, of, you know, maneuvering in cities and mm -hmm. around cities. So with that, I think a lot of the times is you'll see some data where you know, speeds are gonna be much higher, mm -hmm. which causes a greater risk for workers within a work zone. Right. So a lot of the time what they'll do is they'll then use these and then pair them up with, let's call it a speed limit trailer or mm -hmm. a variable speed limit trailer and they will drop speed. So I, I've, right. I've now seen a lot of this data collection, that study will then yep. be transferred to other devices within a smart work zone as yep. well. Nice. I was just talking to a handful of DOT people down at the ATSA convention in Tampa, and that was one kind of common theme we heard is, you know, boy, we thought the work hours should have been eight at night till five in the morning, but when we got data, we were able to extend those work hours and, and get the job done, um, not only uh, more safely, but um, in a shorter duration yeah. of time, so saving money for the contractor. Yeah, a lot of time it'll it'll tell you stick one or two of these out on some pinpoints on jobs and mm -hmm. then they'll know right away some of the hours they're going to work, whether it's going to be weekend work due to yep. volumes being lower or if they're allowed to maybe work during the week. So right. nice. OK, so this is kind of the beast yep. um, captures. What do you say up to about 16 lanes of traffic? 16 lanes. OK, uh, it's, nice. so it's the best. Yeah. Okay. And then this here, smaller, compact. It's it, it's a uh, Houston. DR600. Okay. This is just a basic sensor okay. for a so Q warning system. What type of equipment are you mounting that on? And you know, if you think of it at Street Smart, what's the core functionality of that smaller sensor? This this core function for this one is just a basic smart work zone Q okay. warning system. So it'd be we just want to know where stopped or slow traffic is. Okay. It's okay. a great just general smart work zone. Hey, I want to know where slow or stop yeah. queuing's. So happening. is that the same type of sensor that's in like a radar speed feedback trailer? 
Correct. For example. Yes. Okay. And then yeah. as well as obviously we put them on our trailers, message boards, uh, arrow boards, uh, sure. post mounts. Okay. So you name it. Nice. There's All an right. application. So what's 2022 looking like in terms of smart work zones around the United States? Uh, it's going to be a lot of these speed lane pros okay. going out and obviously right. every state's going to have these on a smart work zone. So, so. you're seeing uh, increased demand for queue warning systems yes. and travel time and truck entry? Especially. Especially. Truck yep. entry this year. Okay. So Good. Yeah. Good. All right. Um, if you have any further questions, give Street Smart a call put you in touch with Connor or someone on his team. As he mentioned, we're starting to see kind of an increase in the demand for these systems nationwide. And we've been deploying these on roadways in work zones for over 20 years. So we always say, you know, don't go look for that new shiny object, futuristic yeah. technology. Let's use what's proven to work and save lives within work zones. So Connor, thanks for your time. No, thank you. Thanks for having me. All Appreciate right. it. Talk to you soon.